Welcome to the Sustainable Hospitality Podcast, where green practices meet profitable solutions. Join us as we uncover the latest trends in eco-friendly hospitality that not only safeguard our planet, but also drive down operating costs and boost revenue. Every week, we will bring you compelling conversations with industry leaders who are at the forefront of merging sustainability with economic success. Whether you're a hotelier, a resort manager, or a passionate traveler, this is your gateway to the future of sustainable hospitality. Tune in and let's explore how going green is good for both the earth and your bottom line. We're your hosts, Amy Wald, and Kathy McGuire. Welcome back everyone to the Sustainable Hospitality Podcast. We are excited today to be live at the Junto in Columbus, Ohio in Brass Eye, which is their rooftop bar. Um, It's really changed the game for hospitality here in Columbus, Ohio. But more importantly, our guest of honor is Kevin Carey. Hi, Kevin. How are you? Hello. I'm happy to be here. Great. Good to see you. Good to see you also. We've got a lot of exciting things to talk about with Kevin. Um, we are here for the Ohio Hospitality Show, which is going to take place in a couple of hours. And Kevin, you are the acting president of, of AHLA right now, American am, Hotel and Lodging Association. How's that been going? Uh, it's great. Uh, it's, a, it's an honor and a privilege uh, to lead this organization, which has such a significant impact uh, representing the industry as a whole, uh, the diversity and impact uh, the hotel and lodging industry has on the economy, on local communities, and as a source of mobility and job creation is, is just such a, an economic powerhouse. So having the opportunity to engage with the industry, the industry leaders, uh, and help to advance its interest uh, is just an honor and, and something I enjoy doing every day and have been working with this group uh, for uh, next month will be seven years. Mm -hmm. Wow. But you had a breadth of experience prior to that. And I was curious, you know, you were with American Express, American Express Global Travel. Mm -hmm. How did that really parlay into the work that you're doing now, Kevin? Um, So at American Express, I had a, a, a range of roles. I actually started as a summer intern um, while going to undergraduate uh, at Penn State, which I can say here in uh, Columbus, Ohio, <laughs> um, but was able to advance uh, through the organization in a number of roles in communications and government affairs, and then ultimately moving on the commercial side of the business. Um, but the business uh, at American Express, whether on the payments or on the travel side, always had a deep connectivity to the travel and tourism industries. And so my interaction with the lodging industry was as part of that connection and where the card members and spend. So supporting those relationships, understanding the the global impact of travel and tourism um, was always very key to the company's positioning. And in a number of roles, I worked representing the company um, with industry associations. Um, So through that um, role and representing the company was the exposure I had to U.S. travel and the National Restaurant Association and ultimately to the American Hotel and Lodging Association. So it was a natural kind of jump over the tracks, if you will. But right, so right. you were on the supply side, correct, essentially. Correct, yeah, correct. It, it, that it's interesting, isn't it, to look back on a career journey it and is. never oh, really yeah. know, you know, at the time. Right. But it all makes sense. It does. Uh, the, the the lodging industry, uh, the diversity of it, um, beyond just the economic impact. Uh, my experience when at American Express um, was principally through working with the large brand companies. Coming into the industry and working for AHLA, you get to see the full scope of the industry, uh, the important role that owners play, third-party management companies, just the range of vendors who supply the industry. Um, But also, um, importantly, given the property we're at here in in Columbus, the the Junto, um, independent hotels um, also play such a vital role in the industry. So um, I've certainly broadened and and deepened my appreciation uh, for the uh, the reach and impact that this industry has over the last uh, several years. And you mentioned a couple of things that I think are really important. You know, that family tree, if you will, mm-hmm. of hospitality is uh, a complex one. It is. And it is. I think it's so important for hotel organizations, hospitality and travel organizations to seek out associations like AHLA is, to help them navigate right. um, and, and, you know, really figure out where everyone lies in that family tree. I couldn't agree more. The, the, the role we play 
promoting the industry, serving as a convening entity for all segments, uh, and working to broaden the understanding across so many different stakeholder groups of what the industry represents. But part of the reason we're here in Columbus is to engage local uh, employees, um, GMs, uh, a vital role that GMs play in the industry and local owners uh, and other leaders. It's, it's important that we partner um, with our colleagues at a state, lo a state level. The Ohio Hotel and Lodging Association plays a fundamentally integral role here uh, and we're delighted to partner with them locally but also on, on issues at a federal level as well. And you mentioned when you first came up here that you're now going to start you know, socializing a little bit more of bringing in that independent, which is. is what the Junto is. It is, it is, exactly. And I think that's an exciting phase of now where it, AHLA will absolutely. go. Absolutely, starting from a personal level uh, uh, that I've uh, worked uh, to develop and, and working closely with our, our membership team. Uh, the independent segment um, is significant. And, and as you think at a local level, um, independent owners and GMs, um, are leaders in their communities. Uh, and, and they also invariably, as we find out when we engage them, they've got key relationships with local elected officials. Uh, so harnessing their power, um, the, the, the impact they have on communities through their operations, the guests they serve, but also many of them we find are involved in local philanthropic efforts as well. So that independent segment uh, is a powerhouse uh, that we're um, affirmatively trying to engage more, and you'll see more from us. Uh, so I was thrilled uh, to find out that our event here was going to be at a, a new uh, and beautiful independent property. Yes, it's we could really we dive could. deep into <laughs> right, this, right, but we right. have a mission That's here. True. That's true. But I do want to mention that you know the Junto is doing all of those things that you said. Right. They are really um, infusing this kind of left alone community for a long time, yeah. giving it a lot of new life, uh, creating community spaces, and they're owned by a powerhouse. We all know right, Rockbridge right. and Correct. Make Ready, right. their operator. Um, so they're doing a lot of great things for the Columbus market. So if you haven't been to the Junto <laughs> and you're right. in the area, you have to come and check it out. I know, I'm coming back. <laughs> <laughs> and you're lucky enough to stay here. Right. I haven't stayed the night here, so I'm sure that's just as wonderful. It's great, it's great experience. Well, thanks for that intro, and I hope that our audience um, was able to learn some more about you and the great work that AHLA is doing in conjunction with the Ohio Hotel and Lodging Association, OHLA. But, you know, the reason we're here today is right. because I really wanted to talk to you about this groundbreaking new partnership right. that has happened between AHLA <clears throat> excuse me, and Green Key. Correct. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, Let's talk a little bit about Green Key. You know, they are, they, they started in 1994. They did, right. By the Hotel Association of Canada. Uh, so I think it's a natural fit right mm -hmm. here in North America. And they were actually created right. by hotel owners. Correct. Correct. So these are not people that just know sustainability. Right. They understand the inner workings mm -hmm. and the struggles and the barriers and the challenges right. of the hotel industry as well. Mm -hmm. Talk to me mm -hmm. about what is those conversations sure, were like sure. behind the scenes and and how that is going to help propel um the responsible stay initiative right, right. through H A H L A. <laughs> a lot a lot of acronyms yes. there um so the hotel association of canada as you said did start uh, the, the green key initiative and we've had an ongoing dialogue um, with the Hotel Association of Canada for many years. Um, their president and CEO, Susie Grinnell, um, is outstanding, is a terrific leader and representative on behalf of the industry. Um, we've partnered together just in comparing notes on advocacy related issues, on membership issues, on how we engage the industry in our respective areas. Um, during the pandemic, uh, the uh, HAC um, it took one of our safe stay initiatives and, and leveraged it uh, in, in across Canada. So there had been an active building discussion. Um, we observed certainly the growth and the momentum in the marketplace around sustainability and third party certifications. Um, and the conversation with Susie and her team uh, and her leadership progressed. And as we learned more um, about the program they had, um, the fact that it is designed by hotels, four hotels, um, and the momentum around this whole area of sustainability, but also um, third party certifications. Um, the conversation led to, is there an opportunity here for us to co-manage and co-own this business 
um, but do it in a way that, that really not only drives member value, uh, but also helps to advance uh, this initiative around sustainability and, and third party certifications. And I think it's important that you mention third party certifications because although there's momentum out there, mm -hmm. um, there is a big push from some of the OTAs, right. online travel mm -hmm. a a agencies, Google, mm -hmm. to only promote a hotel if right. you are verified by a third party accreditor. Right. And so right. they are. But you know, one of the things I love about Green Key is that it's very accessible. Correct. Um, right. It's easy to implement mm -hmm. and they give you a roadmap right. to right. really deepen your commitments. If you can't do that in the mm -hmm. beginning, mm -hmm. they let you know how you can do that moving forward. Correct. Correct. I'm sure that's one of the reasons why you found that a good partnership. It is, uh, it, again, that, that principle of being designed by hotels for hoteliers um, is, is fundamental to, to the value proposition and the offering. And, and um, many hotels are, are at various stages in their journey around sustainability. Um, and many have initiatives that they've been progressing over time. Um, so while some may be entering it from the first time, uh, some may be far along in that journey, but that roadmap, as you said, um, and the uh, ability through the self-assessment and to receive that certification and to continuously look to improve uh, meeting customer needs uh, is, is really something we saw as great value, relevance, um, and, and creating a, a very viable program uh, for individual hotels, but the industry as a whole. And it's really exciting to me that not only does it do all of those other great things, it also organizes your efforts. Right. right. Uh, and it also, you know, really allows you to kind of have that kickoff with your team, mm -hmm. allow them to see the commitment you are making. Yep. And yep. now that's that buy-in that you want to get from your right. employees right. and your stakeholders. And being able to tell that story, mm -hmm. you know, I think that the misconception mm -hmm. is out there that if you're not doing, um, you know, deep sustainability work, you can't acquire this. Right, and right. that is not the case. Right. One of the greatest things about Green Key is that many people would be surprised to find out they can receive a certification correct, correct. right out of the gate right, and right. then again, receive yep. that roadmap. Well, you, you touched on a couple of things uh, at a, an employee level, uh, associates um, and, and colleagues are interested in contributing towards the industry, but their property and their employer's efforts in this regard. Um, we're having a conversation um, with the OHLA today uh, around one of HLA's key initiatives called Forward Advancing Women in Hospitality. Uh, and there was a young woman on stage uh, who's a student at Ohio State who was talking about her career interest and sustainability was one of the drivers that she mentioned uh, about the attractiveness of entering the industry. So it's not only relevant with today's employees and associate base, but also the future workforce coming into, uh, coming into the industry. So. You see it at so many different levels. It, it's relevant to employees. Um, it's about capturing business, uh, where you see that uh, from leisure travelers who are increasingly looking more frequently for sustainable practices from properties they select. Uh, business travelers and corporations are building these requirements into their RFPs um, that they have with large hotels and chains and the other category of group meeting planners as well. Um, this is an important decision criteria not only are they looking at sustainable practices, but also looking to see if that's confirmed through a third party certification as well, that validation is important. Gosh, that's interesting that you say that because we talk a lot about, right, capturing that traveler, mm -hmm. that up and coming traveler, right. especially that are looking for those aligned values mm -hmm. with somewhere they stay, but mm -hmm. it's also that up and coming employee. Absolutely. And Absolutely. Man, then the intersection between also women, you know, I forget the statistic, but it's like women, women tend to care a little bit more about these initiatives sometimes as well. So really bringing home kind of that win, 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 a younger generation, women and sustainability um, could be a powerful tool to have for a hotel. All, all those things really answer the question of well, what's the business case for this, uh, yes. right? Uh, and so it, it's not only a dimension of how you position yourself as an employer uh, to, to retain and develop your existing workforce, but attract the future workforce. But ultimately, the, this, is a, this is a business decision yes. that, that properties and brands uh, are, are making. Properties, again, whether they are branded or independent, see this as fundamental to their ability to serve uh, and meet their customer requirements. So 
there, there's a business case and a rationale here in addition to it being a social good and, and advancing something we all care about in terms of the climate uh, in, in our world. And thanks for bringing up the business case because it's not just these other levers, it's also literal bottom line business Absolutely. cases. When you think about a sustainable building or a green building that operates on average 20% better, mm -hmm. you know, just someone who mm -hmm. is looking at that PL is is going to make these moves. Right. But there's so many pressures uh, today yes. uh, on the bottom line. Uh, oftentimes um, in this environment, there's been a lot of recognition around how average daily rates have grown up. Um, and, and, but um, the bottom line is being pressured. Um, we still need workers in, in, the, in the industry. Um, costs for commodities, uh, paying uh, our employees uh, uh, has gone up, which is terrific, um, but also insurance costs and other areas. So this is uh, the profitability um, pressures that the industry faces are significant. Um, but this is a way to, to ensure that you're capturing that business um, and whether it's a leisure travel or a business travel or a group travel or that they're making an affirmative decision that this is a property that they're going to, to, uh, to, to frequent. And, and honestly, the proof is out there. I mean, when we look at emerging brands mm -hmm. like One Hotels, yeah, yeah. Six Senses and Soneva who aren't emerging, but they're right. entering the U.S. Mm -hmm. market. Regent is on its way back. Those yeah. are higher end. But Best Western, Accor, yeah. yeah. IHG, um, Highgate and Crescent, mm -hmm. even you know, management companies right, and independent right. hotel companies are even mm -hmm. looking at this like this is t it's time yeah, now yeah. that we take take a hold of our assets. Well, you, you mentioned uh, a number of uh, existing uh, hotel brands uh, and management companies who are already participating in the green key business. Um, just in the week and one day since we made that announcement, since we we entered and officially became a, a joint business in, in North America and in the U.S. and Canada, we've had numerous outreaches from other brands, other management companies um, who uh, uh, have had some level of discussion or others who are noticing it for the first time. So the momentum, again, around the existing customer base that Green Key brought into this collaboration, but uh, the elevation of awareness and interest, uh, our teams are already engaging with uh, a number uh, who um, we expect will join the program. Um, and, become a part of the Green Key Global program very soon. That's great to hear. But you know what, Kevin, I we say all of these things out there, right? Mm -hmm. uh, these these great things about the sustainability movement and and taking on the Green Key initiative, but the fact of the matter is daily operations still have barriers. Mm -hmm. They still have struggles. They're sure. still trying to figure out how to juggle it all. Yep. Um, you know, from high interest rates mm -hmm. to, you know, capturing that employee sure, sure. Um, and, and many other uh, you know financial barriers what advice would you give someone how do you you juggle all those sure. things and still make time yeah. for something that should be a priority yeah yeah it's, it's a great question and 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 really um, I, I mentioned at the outset that our involvement in, in green key is given our role as a, as a member-based organization. Um, some of the largest, uh, and, and we're fortunate to have some of the largest global brands in the world who are very active in AHLA, but we also have small independents, um, bed and breakfast, mom and pops, um, who don't have the resources uh, of some of the global brands um, and who can work with us. Uh, uh, I, I, I probably didn't address your, your question earlier on about how does this fit with responsible stay, um, which was our, our overarching commitment to sustainability that we launched uh, in 2022. Um, which brings together a number of industry efforts, programs, best practices, and access to resources and solutions for, for all segments of the industry. So wherever you are from a, a size of operator uh, to stage of sustainability awareness or implementation, um, our Responsible Stay initiative and certainly Green Key as a component of that um, are tools and solutions uh, that we're eager to make available and serve as a, a clearinghouse and, a, and an entity uh, from a member value proposition standpoint that we can bring to the industry. Yeah, so I think you bring up a good point. Remember how many good free resources there are out there right. to you for you to get on board. And I think that's why it's important anytime you're taking on a new initiative, regardless yeah. of what it is, 
there has to be someone in charge of it right. inside right. of the hotel and then they are going to be the one to lead that yeah. Yeah. and do and, and make those communications yeah. to the rest of the team well we're, we're trying to make it easy uh, yes. one of the things that that, that our team um, does effectively uh, in, in my judgment um, is serve as an efficient uh, provider to the industry so whether it's our responsible stay website and access uh, to that information we've got a very active sustainability committee that brings together industry leaders across all segments to focus on these issues and then certainly now adding green key global to that overall package of, of services and information and access to cost saving measures um, is really uh, uh, something we, we want to make it easy because we know uh, uh, operators um, their time is precious they've got so many different demands uh, from guests and, and associate demands on them uh, giving them a, an easy way to access this information is, is something we uh, try to keep very much top of mind yes so you know looking ahead emerging trends gosh I just feel like the, the industry is like just ready to burst right, right? Right. with with all kinds of things not just sustainability yep, yep. that's where I keep my head but yep. innovation and mm -hmm. new brands and independence yep. Where do you see, you know, the future of yep, travel yep, heading and yep. whether that's innovation, sustainability? Right, right. Boy, there's so much uh, <laughs> there. Um, personally, uh, uh, experiences, I believe, are, are at the, the forefront. Um, you can, you can want to travel uh, to a community like Columbus if you're here on business, if you're here to attend a football game. A lot of great golf courses around here as there well. Are. Um, so how do you look at the experience and whether um, you're here and you, or you're staying in a property that your corporation mandates uh, or you're looking for a unique new property like the Junto here, uh, those experiences um, are, are essential. And I think that is what you see um, providers, whether you're a brand or an independent owner, trying to cater and identify those, those emerging customer needs. Uh, certainly within that, uh, the technology experience, how customers engage, uh, make payments uh, on property, um, get offers on a pre-arrival or, or, or post-arrival basis um, is really uh, uh, areas that, that I think you'll see more uh, from the industry trying to harness establishing those experiences, serving the, the customer life cycle, uh, whether you're here for leisure or business purposes, but, but also the experience on property and, and technology being such a, a key driver of that. Your tech stack. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Gosh, right. when I think about that, that's, you know, that's a whole nother animal, you know, <laughs> yeah, right? right? They they really do have their hands full. So Absolutely. I can see how it becomes some sustainability sometimes becomes something that you're just like, I'll get to it, I'll get to it. But today's well, not sustainability good. is 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 linked uh, to Absolutely. technology um, uh, as you look at uh, cost savings opportunities, whether that's the operations or where technology from a sustainability standpoint falls in the customer experience. There, there's no divide or separation there. Sustainability is linked uh, very inextricably with uh, technology decision and future investment. Great point. You are absolutely right. So for the sake of time, we know you have a busy day. Right. One last question. Sure. Talking about hospitality workers, mm -hmm. and maybe there's some hospitality workers out there that are already really passionate about sustainability, right. but I really believe that you also start to see those, those workers start to elevate too whenever they align with something that mm -hmm. they feel very passionate about as you start to formulate your right. strategy. But, you know, what advice would you give them on how can they contribute or maybe how can they start to influence mm -hmm. their hotel yeah. and to start engaging in sure, some of these sure, practices? Sure. Well, I'd be remiss if I didn't uh, put in a plug for OHLA and AHLA, uh, getting engaged uh, with your industry association. We yes. talked about how I did that in my career before coming to AHLA. Uh, it's an opportunity for you to network uh, to connect with your industry peers across segments of the industry and get access uh, to resources and tools that you can leverage not only from a professional development standpoint individually but also on an organizational level so that engagement uh, i think whether it's looking at it through your own career journey uh, or ways that you can enhance value for your your employer or your property is certainly a great starting point that's great advice and i you know i partnered with ohla and i was blown away at really all the different resources right. that are available. It's it, from a professional right. and a personal standpoint, I just think there's so much to gain from, 
from aligning yourself with one of those. Well, Kevin, thank you very thank much. You. I think this has the been, I did <laughs> as well. And I hope that our audience um, gained some insight on this new exciting partnership and i think we're going to see a lot of really exciting things happen in the near future i can't wait if for not week. at the end of the day <laughs> i can't as wait you for were week alluding. two <laughs> <laughs> yeah so thank you again everyone for tuning back into the sustainable hospitality podcast we hope you will continue to tune in follow me on linkedin amy wald let me know what did you like about this conversation and what kind of topics would you like to see within the realm of sustainability in the future in our content have a great day and we'll see you soon thank you we want to thank you for tuning back into the Sustainable Hospitality Podcast. Keep the conversation going and visit the contact page at greenluxinc.com and sign up for our monthly newsletter, where we will bring you the latest developments and breaking news in sustainable hospitality and tourism. That's www.green. L-U-X-E-I-N-C.com. And if you're ready to start your sustainability journey and would like some help on knowing what that could look like, book a complimentary call with us today. Until our next episode, remember, sustainability is your ticket to a healthier planet and a healthier bottom line. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave us a review.